Always use the correct sensor range and type, considering both rope diameter and suspension load. Measuring a load outside of the sensor's range will invalidate your measured and total weight, and measuring a load two times the top value of the sensor's range or more may damage or distort the sensor. Divide the estimated weight of the total load to be measured by the number of ropes to calculate the expected average load per rope. Keep in mind that unequalized ropes and worn and unequal sheave groove depths can put a rope load outside the measuring range of the sensor. Also remember that 2 to 1 roping reduces actual loads to 1 half. Typically, LSM1 and LSMXL sensors cover the range of ropes installed in North America. LSM1s measure loads between 0 and 1100 pounds, or 0 to 500 kilograms, and are used on ropes up to 5 eighths of an inch in diameter. LSMXLs have a measuring range between 400 and 4400 pounds, or 200 to 2000 kilograms, and are used on ropes between 3 eighths and 15 sixteenths of an inch, or 24 millimeters, in diameter. You'll rarely need to worry about a load exceeding 4400 pounds, but a load under 400 pounds is a possibility. Also note that unique sensors are required for currently existing Otis, Schindler, and TKE belts. You can mix different sensor types, for example an LSM1 and LSMXL, as long as the measured load for each rope is within the working range of the sensor attached to it.